This is a special two minute life lesson. Isaiah 57 verses 1 and 2. Good people pass away. The godly often die before their time. But no one seems to care or wonder why. No one seems to understand that God is protecting them from the evil to come. For those who follow godly paths will rest in peace when they die. For those who follow godly paths will rest in peace when they die. Today's life lesson is all too real for me because I'm right dab in the middle of it. I'm facing an adversity or circumstance and situation that no one really wants to face, but because of this life, we have to face it sooner or later. Of the cups of someone we love and value is at that pinnacle point in their life between life and death. Struggling with sicknesses and illnesses that are meant to take them out. But you see, I know my God is able to heal and deliver. But like the three Hebrew boys, when they stood before Nebuchadnezzar and say, but if my God don't, I will not bow down or succumb to you or your idols. I won't bow down or succumb to fear, anxiety, or worry because my God is able. And that once I presented my request to God, his peace, which transcends all understanding for God, my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, I know for a fact, without a shadow of doubt, unwavering, I am persuaded that my God is able to heal. But even if he doesn't, I will serve and follow him. I have an aunt who's in ICU and her status is critical. She lie at the brink of life and death. And though I pray with a fervor, because knowing the scriptures that the fervent effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much, I know for a fact that my God hears me and that he answers me. But yet, what happens if she doesn't wake up? Did my God fail me? No, of course not. Because my God spoke to me in my prayer time and he said that yes, I can heal her and I will heal her. But ultimately, you have to realize it's her choice. If she wants the healing, then I will heal her. But if she wants to come home with me, then take her home, I will. But you have to come to terms and peace with it yourself. That whatever way it goes. You have to stand firm in your faith and know that it is well with your soul. Because ultimately, God puts no more on you than you're able to handle or bear. So in the midst of this storm, this trial, and this test, I have chosen to trust in God and lean on Him and rely upon Him. Because the Word said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out on your own understanding. No, I don't understand it, but I know that God does and God has everything in control. And as I pray, I pray for the comfort of my family. I pray for the comfort of my auntie's children and grandchildren. I pray for the peace of God to surround them, encompass and embrace them. And I pray for them to know the love of the Father. Because he's not here to harm. He comforts the mourner and bring that joy unspeakable, even in the midst of testing and trying time. So as we stand in the midst of this storm, this trial of life, we don't know which way it's going to go right now. But I have hope that she will choose life. But either way it goes, either she's here with us, God has performed the miracle, and she can live to testify of that miracle, or she's with the Father in glory. <laughs> I'll rejoice with her either way, because I understand now it's her choice. A life lesson. This is a life lesson. No matter what, you gotta keep pushing. Every day. Is